I am with a crop scientist and a landscape expert. We, we discussed about some problems and how to solve them. So today he's going to be teaching us how to tackle one of the problems, which is erosion. And so we're going to be learning how to grow bamboo to tackle this problem. Okay, my name is Abo Chinonso and uh, I'm a crop scientist a landscape expert and also an environmentalist. And in crop production, one of our core aims is sustainability in land management or sustainable land management. And the methods we adopt, one is erosion control around areas with poor landscapes or areas that are prone to erosion, especially areas that are close to large gullies or high slopey zones or areas that are prone to desertification, we can use bamboo to reclaim such wastelands. And I will talk about a little about bamboo multiplication, then the uses of bamboo and various places we can apply them. Alright, this is uh, an indigenous bamboo species. This particular species cannot grow more than 18 to 20 meters after five years. And it can be easily propagated through the rhizome. This particular bamboo is not a runner. We call it the clump forming bamboo. If you look at this particular place, you find out that the bamboos are clustered together at a particular zone with very little spacing among them. And because of that, they don't spread our you know, at a very wide area or, you know, covering a very wide area of land within a particular short period compared to the one we call the runners. The runners can run for as far as 50 meter spacing within one, one meter or 0 0.8 meter spacing gaps. And before you know it, a whole area is already covered with bamboo. But for this particular one, they can only be invasive within a specified region. Okay, now let's go straight to the multiplication. In multiplying the bamboo, they are methods we can use. I can come here and decide to dig up this particular rhizome that has formed a clump here. And uh, in digging it up, I can easily carry it and transplant it somewhere else. This thing you are seeing here is called an offshoot. This is an offshoot. And this offshoot came from the mother rhizome here at the base. Okay? And we can easily extract this by cutting and then don't damage the root zone easily. Now, when we cut, then we cut with the fresh rhizome. Added with some eyes around the base. Then, if you want, you can just dig up somewhere, an area around the soil, and then transplant. Or if you want to try it in the nursery, you can just plant in your nursery bag. Make sure it's covered. And then water it and then allow it to grow. Okay? Then after some time, it will continue to sprout. And it grows from there. Then another way is by stem cutting. By stem cutting, we normally use bamboos from two years, three years. And then when you are cutting, you cut at least leaving about two nodes. This is, this is called the node. This is the, the, the node area. Here is also a node. Now, when you cut, you can cut from an angle of 45 degrees and then after cutting, remove the, uh, the, the growing parts, cut them, trim them down, and then you just plant. After about 8 to 10 weeks, we will begin to experience some growth from this particular nodal area. Then from there, you can also transplant to wherever you want to send it to. Then you can decide not to use the offshoot, you can decide not to use the stem, then you can use the mother rhizome, but for this particular variety of bamboo, it will be very difficult to extract the rhizome from the ground. But 
they are also efficient planting material also and when you have an area that is slopey you can plant one or two stands and you control your erosion they are already adopting this eco-friendly method in different countries like thailand like indonesia and they are using it to secure mountain plains that are prone to landslide and i think when we adopt this method it becomes an efficient way of uh, controlling erosion so for a farmer who doesn't know what to do this is a method some places in anambra some places in Ana uh, abia state that are still using gray infrastructure only to control er erosion this is an efficient way of controlling erosion once we secure the landscape stabilize it with this kind of thing the soils can't easily be moved and bamboo doesn't require much maintenance does not require a lot of care once planted it can grow on its own and you can secure your land you can secure your environment you can prevent erosion and then lead to larger productivity now apart from the erosion control landscape designs and the uh, the environmental impact of bamboo there is also the economic aspect of it bamboo is used a lot in the wood industry we also use it in pepper production then furniture production then we also use it as uh, uh, in as uh, building materials for supporting and then we also use it in uh, okay we also use them in a uh, uh, preparing our nursery areas nursery bed for the farmers then we also use them for also you know the basic one we use every day the toothpick so bamboo is economically a viable plant with short growth duration period and very high industrial application a farmer who has a large land expanse of land with of bamboo and have allowed it to mature because most farmers harvest prematurely a bamboo that is less than five years cannot be used industrially for wood production. After treatment, it begins to have a lot of problems. So allow it to get up to five years. There is a way we know the age of bamboo. One is from the sound. Uh, like if you hit this one, you won't get more sound from it because of the high moisture content. Compared to when I hit this one, the sounds are different. This one is about three years old. If I hit the one of about five years old, you hear the cone sound. Is quite sharper and gives me a different sound compared to this. Now, when the bamboos are treated, they are easily used to replace tile floors, which is more eco-friendly compared to the use of tiles, which degrades our environment, exploit our minerals, and also cause a lot of environmental impact. So, I always recommend that this is a better way of uh, solving some of the environmental problems we have. And, ex and secondly, Instead of cutting down trees, we can plant more bamboos that have more short lifespan compared to trees. We get more wood from bamboo in five years than we can get from trees. Bamboo is a better plant to use. I had a wonderful experience learning this afternoon. Stay on with us, hook up on our Facebook page, our YouTube page, and then on the stations where you'll be watching us. We promise to continue producing exciting episodes. Until we come your way next time, I remain your host, Uke Praise. Remember, if you want Sabi, you go Sabi.